Ramonfa, y'all y'all cannot be that out of order. Like, come on now. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Because you just too out of order. Please leave. You out of order. Goodbye. Chuck, Board of Trustees, is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? So the Tiffany Hinyard regular meeting, complete disaster. I mean, it, everything from top to bottom went wrong. This, I think this holds a record as probably her most negative meeting for her career. So the two mysterious men in the suits, right? Those are defense attorneys. Tiffany Henyard went and got herself two defense attorneys. And apparently this is a, a serious guy, which I assumed, right? She got herself a defense attorney after Keith Freeman was fired. So two main things I want to note before we go into this video, two of the biggest situations in this meeting was that one, Keith Freeman is fired and Tiffany is pissed. She fired him because allegedly somehow he started giving information to the trustees on his way out. <laughs> Like I said, the retaliation, the backstabbing would start very soon. And ladies and gentlemen, it has begun. So anyways, Keith Freeman, she has a complete meltdown over that whole situation. And on top of that, major layoffs came through. And her lap dog, her little bald head, Lacey Boo, out of here. Administrative leave. They're starting to, ch they're, listen, they're putting chopping blocks on everything. And what's she going to do? She's going to attempt to sue them. Sounds very classic Tiffany, right? Anyways, people, let's go ahead and check out this meeting from beginning to end. I'm going to show you guys the best parts, ranging from people getting f***ing wanded for metal because she's scared. They have to go through the little metal detector from people making fun of Tiffany. I mean, it's crazy. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. We are going to have everyone go through the metal detectors so that everyone is secure in the building. The last board meeting, we had an incident. You have to listen. I just told you guys, you have to listen. So you guys have to go through the metal detectors so that everyone is secure in the building. Everyone can stay here. Everyone has a seat, but we care about safety. Safety is our top priority, no matter who it is or what it is. So if you don't mind, we're going to pause while everybody goes through the metal detector and come back to your seat. And then I mean, it must be the Jedediah Brown situation because she is spooked. At Monday night's village board meeting, activist Jedediah Brown tries to confront trustee Andrew Holmes about assault allegations. Brown rushes over to Holmes, then is quickly stopped by police. Trustee Jason House steps in, holding Trustee Holmes back. Police then push Brown to the back, where he's taken into custody, then arrested. Mary Avant is a longtime resident who was at that meeting. When I tell you the, the place was packed, the meeting had begun, she was late, of course. And when she gets in, she tries to have Lacey, well, she successfully has Lacey have everybody walk out the building and walk back in. For safety measures, of course. Listen, though, she is scared. Listen to this. Listen to the explanation a bit deeper. We could start our meeting so that everyone's safe. Because if something jumps off in here, we don't know who has what. So I'm just trying to make it aware um, that everyone understands. So, uh, Lacey, Chief Lacey, if you can do We don't know who has what. Ma'am, this is a room full of people who just got off work and senior citizens and people who care about their community. Nobody's out here finna just crash out and shoot up the place for you. It's not that deep. You're, come on. Me? Throwing my life away for her? Insanity. Nobody's thinking that way. <laughs> You're a crooked thug in the mayor position. You're going to... I mean, she's going to assassinate herself at the end of the day anyway. No need for anybody to be on that type of time. Come on now. Direct people. You can start at the first row. People can go in and come back come back in and then have your, and have your seats. We're not telling you to ex exit the building. We're telling you we all about safety. Ladies and gentlemen... One row at a time, we need you to go through the metal detectors and go right back to your seat. That's okay. All right, so that was her and Lapdog Lacey. We we're going to scoot it forward. She already kind of pissed everybody off with that situation. And I usually pass through public comment unless there's something interesting. And boy, there was something interesting. Listen to how they play her, ho her own game toward her. Listen to this shit. See, 
I would finish my time, sir, if you would stop interrupting me. Okay. Just keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. All I have to say is this village deserves so much more than what it's getting. From an outsider looking in, y'all are being hoodwinked, bamboozled, let us pray. And that's all I got to say, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> all right. People are even picking up on her vocabulary. Stop messing with her. Tiffany Henyard, hoodwink, bamboozled. She forgot the grandstanding part. But anyway, as we go deeper into the meeting, they kind of start to bring forward the issue with the city of Dalton on how they're losing money. Now, they would always talk about it, but now it's starting to reach reality to where, as you know, layoffs will be taking place. And also, they're trying to sell certain buildings. Now, if you guys remember Tiffany Henyard's dream to build a swimming pool so all the black babies could learn how to swim, I don't know what she's on, but she wants to have a swimming pool segued with a police station like people want to go and swim next to the police station but anyways we're going to hear what Kiana Belcher had to say about the whole situation and her plans or the village's plans on selling that building next discussion and consideration to approve the sale of the village property located at 14900 Greenwood Nelly Fitness Center all right it's discussion any discussion? I make a motion. A motion to. Okay, so we're discussing it. It's a discussion. Okay, so um, I am the one that placed this on the agenda. And the reason that I placed this on the agenda after having a um, meeting with uh, Kasperic's office, uh, Lauren, who is one of the account holders of our, um, everyone know that we are um, strapped for cash. And the village of Dalton has the Melanie Fitness Center that is not being occupied. Um, we see it used for events and parties and everything else. Um, there was a Dalton police sign placed on it, but we do not have the funds to make it a Dalton police department. So I am asking that we move forward to try to see if we can put this property on the market. Okay, so yes, it could be a community center and a police department. So our plan for that building was to allow residents to utilize the pool for free and then have a police station on the other side. The plans that they drew up as it relates to the company that came out and showed us what it can possibly be was it divided a line between police station and the pool. That way community can still have it as a community center to allow kids to learn how to swim. That was the whole plan for it. Still is the plan for the building regardless of people saying something needs to be so um, we have to learn how to come together and figure a way how to keep things like that in our community. I know that um, Shaw, Mayor Shaw, built that for his daughter. So when he built that building, um, it was in a community forever. So when we try to get away different things, we should kind of take a step back and say, hey, we probably can make haste with this and make sure that it works for our kids. Cause our kids I don't think she really understood. I don't think she understands what make haste means. She said we could make haste with this. What do you mean? You, do you mean take advantage of the opportunity? She's like, we could make haste with this building. What the fuck are you talking about, Tiffany? And this is what I'm saying. This is her problem. She tries to use all these little city allocations for her own benefit. We heard a, a, a very key point where they say it's used for parties and events. And there's a whole police station sign on the building. And there were even complaining that if you gps the police station you will be sent to that one or the other if you get sent wrong to the wrong address to where there's no police station no community center it's just that building you might be fucked in a bad situation so i mean all around you could tell that she doesn't care she just wants to use this as her playground for as long as she needs it for then maybe maybe she'll turn it into a police station toward the end of her second term come on it's little things like this that she piles on the city that bankrupts the city. Little project after little project where she doesn't really do anything. It never turns a profit and then it just fucks the city over. But yet she's going to fight over it and say how it's sad. Oh, and think about the other mayor who purchased it for his daughter. I don't give a fuck about the other mayor's daughter. Who gives a fuck about the old mayor's daughter? We're, <laughs> the city 
is bleeding. Literally, word for word, what they're saying. Kids is everything, but yet we have to give them the opportunity to be able to um, learn how to swim, be able to learn how to do different things that they go to another community to do. Because just like other people, all our kids go in another community, give them, give them our tax dollars, and then basically they are winning and we're not. But yet we sell everything to somebody else. Then we get upset with what somebody brings to our community and feel. We have to start investing in self as it relates to our village first. So we have to do that, guys. And all I'm trying to do is just show you guys a different way instead of just saying, hey, I just want to get rid of it. It's another way to do everything. But we have to put our heads together and come up with the best way for the community. All right. I'll, I'm done with it. Um, Next. Excuse me. Before, since we are still in discussion, could you all get us the numbers? I know you all keep saying what the people told you all regarding the build out. No one discussed that with us, right? So okay. And they just argue over the building back and forth in typical city of Dalton fashion. But they're voting to get that building sold, which I, I mean, obviously, if it's if it's not helping the community and all the mayor does is throw parties in the fucking facility, why would we keep it? We already know what she likes to do. But anyways, let's move forward to the most interesting part. The Keith Freeman situation. Now, they go into a special meeting or a closed meeting. I'm not sure the actual name for it, but they go into a private session with her and her defense attorneys. And when they emerge... When they come back, things change. And Tiffany is basically saying that she's about to sue the city of Dalton trustees for the moves that they're about to make. She always says it's illegal, this, that, and the other, but it's not actually illegal. You know what I mean? She, she can sue them, I guess, but it's not actually illegal. And I'm pretty sure she's going to lose. So let's move on and see what that's all about. I see that you guys went and created this agenda, uh, whereas I created an agenda for the village of Dalton, and we put everything on there that was needed to talk about, including terminate the contract of Otis and Stark, Murphy, Frazier, and McGrath. Um, you guys didn't put that on here, nor did you put on there the termination of Keith Freeman. Um, I put that on there so the board and I can discuss it, but I don't see that here. Yet you put all these other people on here, and y'all do know this is targeted. This is harassment, and you guys are doing uh, political retaliation for the names that you put on here for personnel matters. It don't make no sense that you, you're you considering layoffs uh, due to you claiming financial, but yet you're picking people that don't make half the salary as a lot of other people because you're supposed to start at the top, work your way down, but yet you pick people that in the clerks, they make, what, $15 an hour? Like, make this make sense of how you guys are trying to handle this. And you know, like I know, you guys have the authority to put anyone on administrative leave. You don't have the authority to remove anybody that I appoint. So I just want to clear this up for the public because everybody got everybody, y'all roused up. And then you guys sitting here just trying to make decisions without uh, stating facts. So today we will state facts as it relates to what you do and what I do, as I always state. But we're going to go on closed session, go over this bogus list that you put together, and then we'll come back out and we will tell the public again what the truth is in the matter of moving forward. But okay, so the whole bogus list, right? You know, she's talking about the bogus list. Um, and you know she's mad because Lacey is on that list and a few other people who she wants on her team so now they're coming after her people she is in she's furious and now she wants to make it like this deep and serious point that they left out talking about keith freeman when tiffany you or your office fired keith freeman why would they want to just bring him up he's fired i mean that's one of the people we didn't want there gone why would we need to discuss that and she's going to say this over and over. She wants to discuss Keith Freeman and how come you never brought up Keith Freeman? And you, it's a conspiracy. Keith Freeman is feeding you guys information. That's why you guys don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but anyways, let, let's see what she has to say about her suing them. Um, because we was in closed session, we cannot really discuss it. Uh, but I will make a statement for the record. Um, I already told the Board of Trustees that this is political retaliation, this is targeting, and they should not um, target these individuals to try to lay them off. Um, I also told them that they will be sued for doing so, um, but yet they still choosing to pick these people, which they said key free. But yet they still choosing to. Man, she failed high school. I, they must have just pushed her ass through. They pushed her through high school. Like, what type of fucking grammar structure is that? Does she even know how to read? 
sometimes I question myself. Like, do you know how to read or do they have like a little earphone in your ear so they just feed you the words and make it look like you know how to read? What the fuck, bro? Holy shit. But anyway, she's talking about them retaliating when she's retaliating by suing them. I don't even know how that works, but she has her defense attorney, so I'm sure that works somehow. But yeah, you know, they're starting to do the chopping block. And honestly, she's starting to realize that there's certain processes she can't just override. And it's pissing her off. Freeman gave them. So make sure y'all add him in y'all lawsuit um, to target just these individuals. Um, normally, when you do layoffs or consider layoffs, you normally go, you meet with uh, management staff and you go line by line or you go over things or where people can make cuts set and do things to make it make sense. Right now, people are uh, voting with their emotions and they're not being wise as it relates to handling the business, they allowing the business to handle them. So again, I am totally against this. Uh, as you know, um, I told them y'all do what y'all think y'all can do and I'm going to do what I need to do. So they're going to vote for it. But again, these people will still be employed here in the village of Dalton. So I'm just making sure that everyone is crystal clear of that. So when it happens, you understand the why. Okay, okay clerk. Come here. I, have, um, I have a comment. For the row. Oh, you got a comment now. Huh? Yes. Go ahead. All right. So the layoffs, uh, the layoffs are due to financial issues that the village of Dalton has. Um, I did mention already that managers who may have spoken up asked that we do not include their names for fear of retaliation. Uh, so there's uh, so trying to um, insinuate that Freeman is the one that gave us is incorrect. This came, this decision came about because our finance uh, our finance consultant, the CPA firm, let us know that we are in dire need and layoffs need to happen. This is a I hate to say this because I don't want to cause a big panic, um, but this is a starting point because we are finally starting. We are finally beginning to get information because for months and months we would indicate that. We don't have financials. We haven't had it for seven months, eight months, nine months. So I know many people heard that. So this this meeting is the first time you hear Trustee Belcher and us reference financials that we've started to get in review. And we got a lot of that information due to the um, investigation by former Mayor Lori Lightfoot. I will say Keith Freeman did help them. Come on, let's be real. Keith Freeman helped these trustees because he said, you know what, my last fuck you to Tiffany Henyard is going to be this. And he wrote up a nice list and he wrote up how much it was costing the city and he wrote up how much money didn't need to be used. Like, come on. I think Keith Freeman understands how to run certain business aspects. And he, he just broke it down for him real quick before he got fired. Trust me, the hate in Henyard's heart right now, and you're going to see her break down a little bit later. The, the hate she's feeling for, for Freeman right now tells me everything i need to know freeman is on that ass snitching his ass off bro because of freeman she's probably going down but again he did help them in my opinion but you know i'm not, I'm not gonna name names but kiana belcher probably spilled the beans because she can't really all the time hold her emotions inside we understand kiana but we're gonna hear henyard say a little sum about belcher to where I don't think Henyard's lying. Belcher probably did say something, and everybody was like, shut the fuck up. But that's just my assumption. Uh, so that information is, is the reason for many of the actions taken this evening with credit card spending as well as um, this beginning of some of the layoffs. Uh, it's unfortunate. There's a, lot of, there's a lot more that we have to do. Um, so we're starting to, cre to identify the picture, and we have to identify a plan forward. And unfortunately, this is part of that plan. Thank you. All right. And I just want to clear something up that he just stated. He stated that um, Keith Freeman was not the one that gave it to him. And I quote, trustee Kiana Belcher stated that they got this list from Keith Freeman. So I wish y'all can listen to the tapes down a closed session and you would hear her say that's who gave y'all this list. So again, this is targeted. Y'all targeting individuals and that's not right i still believe you guys should go to the drawing board and figure it out whatever it is again the mayor had no say so in this they just did what they wanted to do and you're supposed to sit here and talk about things of importance such as a layoff because at the end of the day this is somebody livelihood that you guys are playing with y'all can point fingers place blame do whatever you feel you need to do but at the end of the day you guys still are going about it the wrong way and you should not pick individuals because they don't follow your orders or don't listen to you or whatever y'all 
feel is going on, you guys should still go back to the drawing board and figure out a better way because there's always another. She's begging them. She's pretty much begging them, and she hates that she has to beg. It is actually hilarious. She doesn't want to lose her detail, and slowly but surely, she's losing her building. She's losing her projects. She lost her little lap dog who always is sniffing and kicking around her feet. All that shit. She's mad. Now, let's let's go over to the breakdown before they end the session because Tiffany just goes on a rampage pretty much just talking shit as to where the trustees just don't really have anything to say. They just kind of sit there and get verbally abused. Um, next on the agenda, we're going straight to uh, Keith Freeman. So, uh, Board of Trustees, what do you want to do? I have a question because you said he's terminated. So what? Why, why are we? Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold on, because y'all, y'all always say because y'all always say that I don't come to y'all. Hold on, let's let's we're gonna play a little silly game right now. So I put it on the agenda because hold on, because he got terminated already, but everybody inserted themselves in the business of the mayor, right? So everybody inserted themselves. They sent letters out. They let him do all this little finicky stuff, send emails. He's terminated already. And she still wants to talk about it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Maybe you guys understand where she's coming from, but I'm not understanding where she's coming from. Maybe I missed the point. Maybe I missed the gotcha moment. I don't know. Out to the staff, all kinds of stuff. He knows this. They all know that because they wrote their names on it. So. They kept saying, you got to bring it to the board. You got to put it on the agenda. So what I do? It's on the agenda. So that's why I asked that. So why would you ask that redundant question of talking about why I'm asking y'all? You guys asked me to put it on the agenda. It is on the agenda because we wanted your input, your opinion, right? So it's on the agenda for your input and your opinion because you kept saying that you guys have to vote on it. Is that not what y'all kept saying? Y'all said y'all got to vote on it. So here we are. So Board of Trustees. Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? Crickets. Dun, 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 there y'all got what, what we doing? Is there a motion to terminate Keith Freeman? What there's, we doing? There's nothing to talk about. Y'all got to huddle up real quick. This is like a crazy person talking to themselves at this point. There's nothing left to talk about. And do you know this? Even Chief Lacey and her lawyers are looking at her kind of like, all right, all right, Tiffany. Okay. All right. All right, Tiffany. You could you could shut the fuck up now. You're making us look bad up here. Take a three seconds. Hey. hey. What are we doing? You want to no. What y'all want to do? Y'all, oh, y'all had to talk about it and get it together yet? Y'all doing signals across the room. What we doing? Y'all motioning here. What we doing? Y'all quiet. Y'all quiet as a church mouse, as I say. What, what's going on right now? This is the person y'all can't stand, y'all don't like. This is what y'all say. This is what y'all say about the person. Y'all say he's never at work, he'll do his job. This is what y'all say. So what we doing, guys? The motion The motion is on the floor. Wait, what y'all going to do? The motion is seconded. What we doing? What we doing, guys? This is sad. <laughs> no? Nothing? Crickets? Crickets. Nobody wants the motion and let go. But, but y'all, hold on, hold on. Make, look, let me just. If you notice, Clerk Key is packing her papers. Clerk Key is about to go home and hop herself in the shower, hop herself in the bed, watch her some. I don't know what Clerk Key be watching. You guys put in the comments what you think Clerk Key would be watching. She about to put her on some nice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe call up somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she about to go the fuck home. You thought she was finna stay here too late? It's over, sweetie. Tiffany right now pretty much speaks to herself other than kiana who can't help herself but other than that tiffany's losing her shit up there folks 100 percent. explain to residents that understand what i've been talking about listen to to this prior to prior to a whole what five ten minutes ago they voted to lay off all these individuals right yes the vote on all these individuals uh-huh but the person that they all complain about uh -huh. is now up for motion in a second. To He's time. not up for motion. The motherfucker is fired. What is wrong? How is it up for motion if he's fired? We're talking about like Lacey. He's still sitting here right now. 
I don't see a Keith Freeman sitting here right now. It, you just said out of your own mouth he was fired. Is she? I think a fuse burnt out, guys. Lil Wayne is really tweaking out here. That's the person they crying. And if a person that they're talking about that they do all these things, make a, what, 100000 what do you make? 100 something what do you make? Why y'all didn't start at the top? Why didn't you? You started with people like William Moore, people that make, what, $15,000 a year, people that make $15 an hour. You started with employees like that. You and started- now she's leaking names that was in the private meeting. You understand? She can't help herself. She's a child. She's a, she's a kindergarten school child who lost at a game on the playground. You know what I mean? Just a petty little shit, snotty nose, throws a tantrum when she can't get her way. 1,000%, bro with the code enforcement department right, that really brings revenue to our village so make it make sense residents why is everybody on mute all of a sudden i don't hear nothing board of, of trustees y'all all got so much to say what y'all got y'all motioning y'all motioning second it nobody yep. even her lawyer had to pull her to the side like bitch shut the fuck up Okay, just in. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. okay, so basically, it, for those that ain't been watching the, the, the mess or the, I don't want to cuss, the show in Dalton, if y'all have been watching it, that show you that y'all must have been working with him the entire time. So all y'all been exposed, huh? <laughs> so everybody's been exposed. Because here it is. Y'all watch the meet, y'all see what goes on. I don't see nothing right now. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> Y'all got nothing to say. Uh, imagination nothing. out this world. So, so, so who been getting played the entire time? Looks like the mayor been getting played the entire time. That's what it looked like to me. Because I don't, I can't believe they this crying. Y'all always got something to say. Always. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Uh, oh, you adjourn the meeting. Wow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shout out Kiana. I didn't realize she made the, the motion to adjourn. Pretty much fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Like, where are we doing? Honestly, where are we doing? So, so your your motion your motion is now recognized, and we right here on this agenda item. And you know you're out of order. So basically, uh, it's a motion in the second it, on the floor. It is not. It is not recognized. Okay, if so you understand the, the rules the and how they work, so you want to get out of the jam. You that scared, huh? You that scared to talk about the firing? You guys say you didn't want the individual. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I already know what I can do. I'm talking about them because they said that I Girl. didn't put it on this agenda. And I'm going to show you emails. Who said that? I'm going to show you emails. Who said who said it? Hold on, trust me, because now you got something to say. Hold who on, let me see. You said that. So said who said it? Basically, I'm going to show you everything that they talked about until we got to this point. Now it's on the agenda. Now they cry. They got who nothing said it? Can say. you say who nothing. said it? Put it on the All agenda. All to you guys is we got to get some understanding of what's going on. So I'm letting people, as y'all say, hood we hood we bamboozle. Yeah. Red straight. Y'all let people do that to y'all, right? Y'all still ain't got nothing to say. Who said y'all got something to say? Agenda, Mayor? Do y'all got something to say? I'm waiting. Can you ask can you ask? Are y'all gonna motion? Are y'all gonna motion? What y'all I, you said somebody said put it on the agenda. agenda. Who asked so, you to put it on the agenda? I already asked you a question. So you want to ask question. You want to ask the master. It's a motion. What you gonna do? Trustee, I already asked you a question. So you're going to answer my question first. Very reminiscent of a fucking child, huh? What you got to Y'all got motion to release the motion in a second on the board. So let me say this then. Because you guys are mute and they got nothing to say, it's always. Y'all been selling the residents a load of crap. Um, I am using my authority, which I always had, but you guys intervene with it as always. Keith Freeman is fired from the Village of Dawson. Oh, wow. He no longer works here at the Village of Dawson. I, I said it and said it. I tried to do this before, but they used to be. They said, hey, you got to come across the board. Hey, y'all. Who's the trustee? So, can you bring that? Did you ask him to put it on the hall? I did. Did you ask him to put it on the hall? I think I'm pretty sure he got it. I think everybody, no. everybody understands what's going on. No, okay. And by their silence, it tells you kind of what's going on in our village. So welcome to all the games and all the drama that you see uh, put before this board. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, it's a new day. Uh, so, I need to call the road. I need to call the road. So I appreciate you guys for coming. Trust me, Belker. I was needed. And first, I just said that it was out of order, but that's what y'all do. Y'all just want to run the show. Everybody running. 
Nobody Trustee got nothing Hill. to say about right. P. Freeman. Okay. Nobody. Right. Meeting. Right. Nobody. At 9.52 p.m. You know what's crazy is they just talked over her this whole time. It's like she's the little crazy lady in the background. And it's going to be more and more of that as time goes on because, I mean, I honestly truly believe House is going to override her at every single turn. And she's going to get voted out and she's going to have a big tantrum and cry and go home and cry for the next month or two and maybe get arrested after that. We don't know, but... Until then, folks, that was the shit show of the Dalton meeting that we covered last night. And um, stay tuned, shit, because there's more to come for sure. Until the next one, folks, stay inside, stay safe. I'm out of here.